caramely caramel caramel and we're gonna marry the colors together we're gonna have a baby old school days how i used to do it just looks super super natural every time i say that i think of like ghosts i don't know why but anyways i'm just house by myself so let me not say that mm. fall in a cup hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing an easy everyday fall makeup look staple products that i absolutely adore and you need to try i want my skin to look healthy and glowy so i did minimal steps and i'm going to show you a technique so that you don't overdo your skin makeup and it just looks flawless and glowy and natural so if you want to see how i got this look then make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the dom fam and without further ado let's get into this video we have all the fall things going on in this video today i have my caramel cinnamon latte that i made from home and it's so freaking bomb oh my god it's pumpkin spice too because i did buy the starbucks pumpkin spice creamer almond milk version girl it's everything so the first thing i want to start off with is skincare as you can see i have no brows on today because i really wanted to get into my fall routine from beginning to end and makeup always starts with skincare i have been using this every single morning and every single night this is the elemis pro collagen morning matrix and it's amazing. I just got a new one in. I literally went through a whole jar of the morning and night cream. So I'm so happy that I have a new one right here. But I just, it's so light. It smells like a spa, like eucalyptus. Very, very refreshing. Super lightweight on the skin and ultra hydrating, which I love for the daytime. I don't want it to be too thick or heavy on my skin during the day. And as you can see, my brows are pretty hairy because I'm trying to grow them out. They are going through it, honestly. They've been through so many different situations and breakthroughs that we just really just need them to grow back. You don't have to put on a primer if you're not looking for anything extra. I love the way that it makes your skin glow. So it looks like this. It smells so good and it makes the makeup apply to your skin so smoothly. It also gives you a little bit of this golden glow. It's very, very subtle, but I love that like golden glow it gives you. Perfect for fall, it gives you that autumn leaf just falling from the tree kind of vibe on your face. I really like it. And the scent is just so nice. I love the scent on this. It's just like warm and inviting and like I just want to walk outside with my Ugg boots and crunch the leaves. Basically, that's what it is. Now I'm gonna under sculpt and under glow. I'm gonna do all the under foundation kind of things. I've been loving this because it gives you the most natural, flawless looking finish. It just looks like you were born with a naturally contoured nose and glowing from within kind of face. So that's why I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna be using the Skin Gloss in Copper Light. This one is my favorite for the fall time. It just gives warmth or summer, whatever you're looking for, honestly. But this for me right now is giving me everything I need to glow. Like I don't want a bright glow, I kind of want a bronzy glow. So I'm gonna take this shade, this is Copper Light from Skin Gloss, and I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks and my nose. And it's very subtle and it's sheer enough that it's not gonna be like, bam, I have bronze golden streaks all over my face. It's not that type of vibe. So I like to put this on underneath my makeup. Just looks super, super natural. Every time I say that, I think of like ghosts. But anyways, now we're nice and glowy. I'm gonna under sculpt. I just kind of made that up. Michaela on TikTok calls it under paint, which makes sense, so much sense. I'm just gonna do a little under sculpting right under my nose, make my nose a little bit thinner and defined right into my eye sockets. I also like to do this little curve here, bring it down on the sides. Also just shorten the forehead a little bit and define the sides of the forehead a little bit. Yeah, that's my little bit. And then we're gonna do the double chin. After I do this, because it's not like this formulation is dry anymore, I love the new Fenty formulation on the matchsticks. It's beautiful, but I do like an extra like hydration. So I'm gonna use the Ultra Hydrating Fine Mist from Dominique. And it just helps everything blend in a little bit better, gives me more hydration, which is what I need. And I do this because I have dry skin. My skin, it's a combo dry. It's only a little oily on my nose. Everywhere else on my face, my scalp is super freaking dry. So I always, always, always am trying to hydrate my face. I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm just going to blend everything in. This brush is from Vanity Makeup. When you're blending your contour, always blend upwards. 
don't blend downwards unless you're creating like an interesting shape on your face, like the more masculine look. I do that sometimes just because I like the way it makes my face look a little more narrow. It's like the skull contour if you're gonna be a skeleton this year for Halloween. But when you're trying to lift your cheekbone, and give structure here, always blend upwards. Speaking of skeleton and Halloween, you guys, I haven't done a Halloween inspired makeup look in a really long time. I kind of want to though, for the first time in like years, but I have trouble figuring out what exactly I want to do. Can you guys give me some suggestions? Blending everything in with this huge brush, which is fine, but there are smaller brushes where you can really define these areas, but I just wanna make it easy and just do it really quick. And it works really good this way as well, so we're just gonna leave it like that. Then I'm gonna take this blush right here from She Glam in the shade Birthday Suit, and we're just gonna do a little bit of blush there, a tiny bit on the nose. And I like this blush because it's a little deeper, it's warmer, it's giving me, the leaf is brown. It's a brown leaf. That's the best way I can explain it. I'm gonna take this bigger brush from It Cosmetics. This is the number seven brush. It's kind of like a foundation brush, but I do love to blend in my contours and my blushes with it, especially my blush. I also feel like I don't use as much makeup whenever I under sculpt, under glow, and under blush. I really like it this way. I just need to do my brows. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Brow Blade in the shade Dark Drapes. I will be back with some brows, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm back with my brows and we are going to put on some foundation on our face. Lately, I have not been using foundation. I have been using skin tints, but I do want a little bit more coverage right now. I don't know why, just because fall, full, I just need a little fuller coverage. I mix the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, which is pretty light on me. Very, very light, illuminating. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of Kosas, the revealer. And this has an SPF of 25. I love my SPF. This is the medium neutral shade. And this is the shade Punjab. I'm gonna take both of those and we're gonna mix those together and pack it on to the face. So when I'm putting on my foundation, since I've already kind of put on the contour and the blush, I just kind of softly skim over that area just to blend it out a little bit more. And I'm not adding more product to it. I'm just kind of softly blending around the product. It's a little heavier on my forehead. So I'm taking a little bit more in the center and then just blending it outwards like that. And on the nose, on the sides of the nose. And for the under eyes, I kind of just leave them as bare as I can because I don't want too much product in that area. It, it will get cakey. Before I get started with eyeshadow, I just want to put on some eye primer. My eyes are discolored. They're brownish, purpley red. And I need a full coverage type of primer for my eyes. You don't need that much actually. So I've been using this Dominique one. It's the Everlasting Eye Base. It sets for 24 hours, so my eyeshadow isn't going anywhere and it just really cancels out any redness darkness and helps the eyeshadows true color pop i love this so much you don't need to set it with a powder i mean you can if you feel more comfortable but you don't need to just let it kind of dry down for a second so it doesn't get muddy but bam She's even. Now we're gonna pick up a fall eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna be using this one from Huda Beauty. This is the Caramel Brown. Caramel? Caramel. Car it's spelled caramel, but I still say caramel. I wanna do something very simple with you guys because I want you to be able to just pick up a color and use it very easily on the eye. To me, the basis of a fall look is orange, it's reds, it's browns, but I also love this color. This is an unexpected type of yellow, very mustardy, and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. So I'm gonna take a bigger brush, pack it into the brush, and then I'm just gonna put it all over the lid and just basically cover the entire eyelid with this color. It's gonna make everything a little bit more warm and caramelly and it's just gonna give you fall autumn leaves. But it's seriously, that's what it's giving and that's all that I need. That's really all we need for fall is pumpkin spice, leaves, Ugg boots. That's what this is giving. I'm gonna take that on the top and I'm also gonna take it on the bottom. Just gonna take a little bit of that color here. And when you put it on, it's actually not as yellowy mustard as you think it is. It has more brown in it. Interesting color, I like it a lot. Now that our eyes are warm, I'm gonna go into a shade that's a little bit more caramelly, caramelly. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush. So something like this, this is the Michaela Glam Light brush number two. And I'm gonna just take this brown right here. And I'm going to take it along the edge of the eye 
kind of like the outer third. And I'm gonna bring it up into this little lifting kind of motion. So I'm gonna take my fluffier brush and start to just blend everything up and outwards towards the temple and brow bone. And we're not gonna pick up any more color on this because whatever we have on it is gonna do great. It's gonna do the work for us. Take it into the inner third of the eye and just softly keep it there. It's good. So now I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. So I'm getting this brush, this kind of a flat brush. This is the O2 brush. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go just tap into this orange. I don't want like a completely orange eye. I'm gonna tap a little bit into there and then apply it right in here. Almost like the center of the lid, but like a little off centered. And just leave it there and just pack it in like that. It's gonna add a little bit more pumpkin spice to the eye. I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it and then go back into your fluffy brush. Or I'm actually gonna use this brush, it's completely clean. And just kind of swipe it back and forth just so the eye look gets a little bit more festive, just a little bit more. And then whatever we have left, I'm just gonna swipe it underneath the eye and bam. For the inner part of the eye, I wanna take a flat brush and go back into that shade that we put all over the lid, that mustard color, and pick it up and tap it right into the inner third. And then we're gonna marry it right back into that orange color. Oh my God, I haven't heard that word in such a long time on YouTube, Mary. It just said it right now and I'm like, oh my God, it's giving me like back in the day you makeup tutorials. So I'm just gonna take that and we're gonna marry the colors together. We're gonna have a baby. That's really, really pretty. I like that I packed it on because you can see the color more than just a wash of it. I'm taking that clean brush. I'm gonna go back and forth into this and just make sure that everything is blended. Bam, that is our fall eye. I'm gonna add a little bit of glow with this color right here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Ooh, maybe a little bit of that. So a little bit of gold and pop that right on the inner corner. Just like a tiny baby amount to open the eye area and give a little bit more, a little bit more of a daily glam on the inner corner. Now, I don't know if this is an everyday look. These are a few more steps, but if I was playing with my makeup and I have a little bit of time on a Wednesday, hey, why not? I wanna do a soft brown liner just to lift the eye a little bit. So I'm gonna take this brown right here, which is more on the reddish side. And we're going to lift the eye. I'm not gonna go past my pupil, that's just like too heavy. It's a little too heavy for what I want. So I'm gonna take it out and just clean it up as I go. Eyeshadow liner is always very much more forgiving than a liquid pen. So if you're just beginning and you're just starting out with makeup, doing this with the shadow is always gonna be a great start. You're never gonna really have a bad eyeliner look because you can easily clean it up with what I'm doing with the concealer brush and just kind of mold it to however you want it to be. And even when you want to start using liquid liner, pop it on top of here and let that be your guide. So that is our eye look. I'm gonna do a little brown liner on the lash line. I'm gonna tight line with brown liner right in here. So I'm putting on some mascara before I put on my lashes and I wanted to show you what I'm using because it's freaking amazing. This one's from Tower 28. I just did this whole eye and it just lifts, separates, so beautifully, never clumps. I'm obsessed with it. This is like one of my favorite mascaras right now. And the fact that you can just keep applying it and it never gets clumpy on me, I'm just like, wow. Once that dries down, I'm gonna pop on some lashes. You don't have to if it's an everyday look, but I'm a little extra. I'm gonna just do these lashes right here from Lily Lashes. This is the Style Diamonds, and these are really pretty. So I'm gonna just put them on, obviously cut them. I cut them down a lot, actually. They look like this. See how long they are? That's too long. So I'm just gonna cut them down. I usually like to start the base of the lash right right here. So I'm gonna do that. Jaden, you're home. Okay, my son came in, so I turned off my camera, but I am back to put my lashes on with you. And this is the first time that I haven't put lash glue on my actual eye. I'm just doing it like old school days, how I used to do it. Okay, so I'm back with my lashes. They are on, our eye look is complete. Now we can move on to the concealer. So I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on. I need to cover this baggage claim right here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of Dominique Wide Awake Concealer in the shade Oat Milk. So if you hear opening and closing, my son is making a sandwich in the kitchen, which is right over there. Say hi, Jaden. <laughs> 
Anyway, so I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer here because that's where I need it. A little bit of glow. Put some right here and right here. And I'm gonna blend this together. So I'm currently filming in my living room because I don't have my beauty room set up yet. So in that beauty room has no outside lighting. It has one tiny window in there. And so I'm gonna have to put my like studio lights in there. And so that's a whole thing. I'm actually working with an interior designer. We're gonna like really make that room a beauty room, really deck it out. So I'm really excited about that. I'm working with them right now. And I'm gonna do a whole video on that. I'm also working with a furniture company as well. So I'm gonna show you a whole new house on the inside. And I'm gonna show you guys that in a separate video as well, but. Just so much fun, like lifestyle content coming. And I can't wait to show you, but for now we're gonna have to use my living room, which works great. Honestly, I love natural lighting from the sun. But do you see how much less makeup you use on your face when you do the under sculpting and all of that? It is so amazing. If you haven't tried it, you have to try doing everything underneath your makeup and just softly going around it and on top of it wherever you need it. But don't completely cover it, obviously. Use a light hand, but I love Love this technique. And now we are bright. I'm gonna just put some down here. I seriously have a little bag under my eye. I had filler done like two or three years ago already, and I've gotten it removed so many different times, but I still have this little bag underneath my eye and I don't know how to get rid of it. But if any of you guys have any advice out there, please comment below because now I have a little, little bag. But I'm working with Nurse Jamie and she is helping me with my skin texture and the lasers and all of the things. I should probably ask her, but if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. That is just so annoying. I went from having like super deep under eye circles to this little bag. Okay, so now that I just set my concealer down and now I'm gonna put setting powder over it. I got a new translucent setting powder. I am currently sold out on my website, but I got this from my office and I'm so happy because I thought it was gonna be, I wasn't gonna have any in my office, but I found this one. But these are selling out on my website like crazy, which I'm so grateful for. I'm glad you guys like them. If you haven't tried them, you definitely have to try it. It's currently not available on my website, but when it comes back, I'll let you know. But it's just a hydrating mat, so it has hyaluronic acid in it. It also completely smooths the area that you're putting it on, but it's translucent. It's actually interesting because it's translucent, but it actually gives me a little bit more something but not enough to like completely make me a different color so it's a great universal shade and then when i do this so i'm very smooth i brighten because it's not going to give me super bright because it's not it's not the purpose of the setting powder so what i do is i take my handy dandy notebook i'm just kidding take my l'oreal infallible pressed powder in the shade ivory because i love a bright under eye so i'm just going to take that underneath and pat it in right here. And your face makeup isn't going anywhere. It's gonna stay there all day. Doesn't matter what you do, it's not gonna move. I'm gonna just go around the smile line area. Bam, we are nice and bright. Since this is more of a warm look, I really wanna punch up the warmth in my face. So I'm gonna take the Hoola Caramel and this little brush here and just go over the cheeks and right outside like where the temple is, right outside the forehead, and just kind of bring this all together as one. And then I'm gonna take the Milk Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray, mix it up, and then spritz it. I'm not a fan of this, the smell. It reminds me of like, you know when you go to the pool when you're a kid and you bring all your floaties? It smells like that. <laughs> it smells like floaties. That is, Basically the face, oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Mascara, I'm just gonna add a little mascara to the bottom lash. My foot is officially asleep. I cannot sit Indian style as a 35 year old woman anymore, oh my goodness. And just put a little bit of mascara right on our fake and real lash so that they are one. For the lips, I'm gonna take the brown sugar lip liner from Dominique and we're just gonna line our lips. This combo is my fall lip for 2022. It is so pretty. So it's brown sugar. Now this lipstick is the fall. So after you put brown sugar lip liner on, then put Calladita lipstick on over the top. Look at that. How beautiful. Oh. 
obsessed. You guys, this is the perfect fall lip. I'll link everything below, but right over the top, you can stop there. I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss, white peach from Tarte. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumper, and I'm just gonna put it in the center just for a little dimension and juiciness. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Literally, this is my makeup therapy with you guys. So I always really enjoy doing my makeup with you. And I hope this inspired some of your makeup looks for this fall. Get festive with it, get an orange, get a brown, get those fun colors because it's fun to celebrate the times. It's fun to celebrate the seasons in your makeup, in your coffee, in your clothes. Ooh. I'm so glad I said that you guys because I almost forgot to put this on I was supposed to show you guys the look with this. I feel like this is very fall I love this shirt. It's from Miss Lola. It's like a silk faux silk shirt, but it says fall luxe pumpkin I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends, hang out every week, talk about makeup and all the new things and techniques that are happening with it. Also, if you missed these videos over here, check them out. They're waiting for you. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Before I let you go, I always like to leave you guys with a motivational message. And today's is have an open heart and an open mind. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.